10 Investment Strategies by Charlie Munger. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to David Dodge. Charles Munger, more commonly referred to as Charlie, is the vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway, a conglomerate owned and managed by Warren Buffett. Buffett claims Charlie is like his partner in a way since he's been working with Buffett for such a long time. Besides this, Munger is a businessman, former real estate agent, investor, and philanthropist. He is also a chairman of other corporations within California, where he has lived the majority of his life. In this video, we will be listing out Munger's top investment tricks so you too can rise to the top. Number one, read. While there are many factors that make up a good investor, one of them is being an avid reader. Surprising, I know. Munger believes that not only will reading help you in your professional life, but it helps enhance every aspect of a human being's life. Once you are learned and read, you will gain knowledge about a variety of things and those can help you choose your next investments, your next jobs, etc. Number two, circle of competence. Even if there's some great opportunity nearby, if you don't understand a word of it, don't invest in it. Stick to things that you're knowledgeable about so the new terms and problems that come with every investment aren't an unwelcome visitor. If you know what you're talking about, you're more likely to be able to chart a success path. But if you don't know the basics about a specific branch of business, you're going to find yourself in some pretty sticky situations. Number three, simple. There are complex businesses out there, and don't get me wrong, it's not like they aren't profitable because they are. But we cannot chalk up their success to the difficulty level. Stick to simpler companies to make your life easier in the long run. There's less thinking involved, and you don't really need to confuse yourself understanding everything if it's laid out in an organized and comprehensive manner. While it may seem like the corporation with numerous working parts will end up getting you more money, don't risk it. Number four, more than just figures. In the investment world, numbers are of utmost importance. However, don't get sucked into this wormhole where all you're interested in is the figures. Not only do they not show the bigger picture, they can often be misleading. So while you obviously have to pay attention to prices and numerics, don't just put all your focus there because sometimes a firm's environment will have a bigger hand in the success it brings in than the money aspect. Smart investors look for a workplace culture that grasps them. Number five, limits. Munger claims that while investing in as many stocks as possible may look very appealing, it doesn't usually lead to much success. His advice is to focus on a few companies you're interested in and put all your effort into them and make sure putting money on them is the best decision rather than parading around looking for other firms to spend on. Often this leads to greater losses as people don't do enough homework and put too much cash into it only to realize their decision wasn't the best. Number six, great business at fair price or fair business at great price. You may look at a firm selling for an amazing price and think you have to invest, but wait, think about it. If this company is mediocre, the long-term advantages may be few. Instead, try to find extraordinary companies selling at maybe higher but fair prices. This is often more sustainable and leads to long-term benefits. Selling a decent, undervalued firm can make you money, yes, but working with a well-oiled machine can bring in wealth that you've never imagined. Number seven, patience. Prices fluctuate all the time, but a good investor knows this. They know that sometimes a stock will be priced higher and the next day it'll be lower. The act of not acting on it is the hard part of this point. You need to see where this company is going price-wise before you rush to purchase it. Just be patient and you'll be rewarded. Number eight, prove yourself wrong. Your main goal should be to prove yourself wrong all the time. Look for new information constantly to make yourself question your investments. If after all this research you're unable to do so, 
it probably means you're going in the right direction. If the opposite, just quickly fix up your portfolio. Number nine, no self-pity. Life is going to have its ups and downs, and instead of wallowing in it, use it to build yourself up. Move forward, leave the past behind you. You're not always going to have a successful purchase, but if you're wasting time crying about it, you're going to miss out on other great opportunities. If you have lost something, don't worry about it. Just try to learn from your mistakes and see where you went wrong. Number 10, risk. This one is simple. If the risk factor seems too small, it probably isn't worth it. A trait of an incredible investment is the fear of losing it all because there's so much on the line you could also win. So look for risks, but make sure they're calculated and don't act impulsively. Usually the risks are higher when the perks are greater. So if it initially looks scary, delve further in. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.